I would highly recommend you to start with Python for all the non-coders out there or for all the coders who are not very much confident about their coding skills. So I hope you can see a diagram on my left hand side which is the uh, higher level overview of the uh, steps that you would be requiring to master any programming language. The first is learn of course, the next is practice because you know practice makes a man perfect. Then the third is uh, applying application of that programming language to real world business case scenarios and the last one is master right so let's begin with learn now to learn python i would highly recommend you to start with the official python documentation it is uh, i know a lot of my clients say that it's very intimidating and you know it uh, sounds very boring to them but trust me uh, even uh, i used to feel the same right when i was in college I began learning from the official Python documentation very much later in my life so I don't want you guys to waste so much of time because it helps you a lot. Everything has been written from scratch in that official documentation and I don't think you would require any other resource to you know grab the same amount of knowledge that has already been mentioned by the people who have created Python, right? So this is something that is on my number one priority. Again, if you still feel that you would want something else to begin with or something easier to get started with, then I have a Coursera course on my left hand side, which is the Python uh, for everybody course. And I can also send you uh, an article in my description box. I also talked about it in my uh, last video, which is basically how to audit this course for free. So the next is practice. Uh, Project Euler is highly recommended. It has its own dedicated website and also it is present on HackerRank. I'll be attaching the links of the both of these uh, in my description box. Uh, guys, it has a definite amount of questions ranging from easy, intermediate to advanced. And I've also had some of these questions being repeated in the you know, assessments in the preliminary assessments that I've given to uh, you know grab any job out there for a data analyst as well as for a data scientist. So I would highly recommend this for you to practice all the concepts that you're learning side by side, right? This uh, helps you with not only solving those problem statements, but also, uh, you know, making sure that you optimize your code to sort of, uh, your, you know, to sort of battle with the space and time complexity. So I think Project Euler is going to be really good for you to practice. Now the next is apply. Now why I have uh, pra kept practice and apply as two different uh, you know milestones because in order to become a good data analyst and data scientist you only not need to be good at TSA and all those basic concepts but you also need to know how to utilize your programming language in order to solve any business problem statement right. How to uh, solutionize any business problem that has been given to you utilizing Python and for these I think Kegel I strongly recommend guys Kagan is the best platform for you to practice all of these things to practice your combination of uh, you know business mindset as well as your programming language. Now I know a lot of my clients say that they find Kagan also very intimidating and they don't know where to begin from right because you have a lot of experienced peeps out there as well who are you know participating in various competitions and getting really good ranks but uh, I will suggest you to get started with Kegel Playground series. I recommend this highly to a lot of my top mate clients. I've also attached a link of it in my description box. So Kegel Playground series does not provide you any prize money, right? But it is the app uh, series of competitions for all the beginners out there. And they are the best sort of problem statements to, you know, practice the concepts that you are learning of a beginner data analyst. For example, all the statistical concepts or all the analysis concepts that you'll be learning side by side uh, using Python. So I think this is the best place for you. I have utilized this Kegel Playground series a lot. So this is something that I would highly recommend for you to you know get used to the uh, flow of understanding the data, forming an EDA on it, trying to find the uh, you know missing values or the things which are wrong with the data and then how to deal with it and then finally applying some algorithm you know, whether it's a statistical or a machine learning algorithm in order to solve that business problem statement. Last but not the least is master. So there will be a time in your life where you will, you know, uh, complete your entire Python official documentation. You will be done with Project Euler as well. You will be good on Kaggle. You will, you know, know the basics of data analysis and data science using Python. But then probably your codes are not of the business standards, right? 
or maybe your codes are not being readable uh, by the uh, by some other person who's trying to access your codes so this usually happens on your job right and to master this to make sure how can you utilize tiny concepts like assertions or dog string in your code just to make it more readable and more presentable i suggest you this book on my left hand side i even have this you know hard copy of this book so this is the only monetary resource that i am providing apart from all the other resources that i have provided you with uh this is a great book guys it's a one time investment you can also get a soft copy of it for free um this book you know talks about with tiny concepts that are wrong with your code how can you not you know uh make your code look shabby in front of the client how it can be more readable more accessible uh by somebody who is not good at coding which will probably be your clients or your manager right they don't want to go to each and every line of your code they probably want you to present your code in terms of classes or they want you to you know deal with exceptions so that it does not throw an error in a sort of a problem that shouldn't have been arising in the first place so all of these problems can be uh, you know solutionized uh, by reading this book it's a great book guys so i hope that you like my video if yes then please don't hesitate to drop a like and a comment on this for the youtube algo to make sure that this video reaches to more and more people out there who are in need of all these resources and steps uh, also uh, i am aiming to hit 500 subscribers by 16th of september so please 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 if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please don't hesitate to subscribe thank you all the best and i hope you all have a good day